Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, I just got an email saying that we're getting another tax check or uh, stimulus check. That's kind of crazy. All us people that are actually working, um, yeah, it helps, but I think they're putting too much money in our pockets right now because we're going to have to pay that back someday. And it's not cool because I'm used to getting a paycheck, I'm not used to getting an extra thousand dollars, whatever, fourteen hundred, whatever it is. I'm not used to getting that extra money except for tax time. And uh, what is this, the third one we're getting? So it's, uh, it's a little insane, I think. I think they're overdoing it. And uh, I think everybody should be prepared for the repercussions that this tax stimulus checks are gonna be going upon us. Sorry, roll the window. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about stimulus checks. I'm here to talk about Pokemon. This weekend, I haven't been, um, I have been driving around. Last weekend, I, I kind of messed up. And I don't want anybody to make the same mistake that I did. Because, now last weekend, I went to a comic book, a game store, I should say, in uh, Catskill. And I bought the Drop Pulp. Dragapult box and um, something just told me not to do it but the guy was just standing there staring at me so I kind of, I don't know, like don't ever feel like you're pressured into doing something. If you don't want to do it, just say no. Don't don't give any suggestion or signs that show that you're going to get a hundred dollar Dragapult box that I knew, I just had a feeling. I drove all the way out there to get Shining Fates and a binder. They didn't have any more binders. They had like orange, purple, green, blue, red, yellow, every color imaginable. And now they don't have any. Um, which leads me to want to go back to my old ways of just putting them in the nine sleeve, three ring binder card holders. Um, but anyway, don't feel pressured into buying something that you don't want to. I felt, I went into the store, I was just wanted to look to see what they had, and I had a hundred bucks, but I didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on a box. And I'm mad at myself that I did, because you can go on eBay right now, and you could go get that same Dragapult box for 65, 70 bucks. I tried ordering two of them when the day they came out and Pokemon Center website kept freezing on me. You saw that video where I was very upset that I tried to buy a Dragapult and a Crobat. I had them in my car and by the time I went to go check out, I got banned or blocked because their website's so funky that they don't want computers ordering stuff. But then again, computers got the stuff. So it's like a real person couldn't purchase something because your computers thought I was whatever, I don't know, a robot or some crazy nonsense. So instead of paying $40, $80 for two boxes, I had to pay 100 for one. And then I went on eBay last week, and actually it came last night, which I'm very happy. It came very quick. It was only like basically a day. Like the guy must have just threw it in the mailbox, like, and it was out. I had it the next day. Um, no overnight shipping, no nothing. Like, I got the Crobat V-Box, so now I got the Dragapult and the Crobat V-Box, and I paid 180 together for both of them, so that drop, I look at it this way, if I paid 100 and I paid 80, I paid 90 for both of them, you know what I mean? If I'm going to resale, I need to not think that I got to get $110, $120 for the box, I got to think that I could sell them both for 100 and get my money back. I could do it the other way and just sell one for 90 and one for 110 and get my money back, but it, I want it to be cheaper for people. Like, just because I paid 100 doesn't mean I gotta sell it for 100. So, I'm on a delivery right now. I'm about to go across the Rhinecliff Bridge in uh, Kingston, New York, and um, yeah. Um, people look at me like I'm talking to myself or I'm on a phone call, but I'm not. But uh, I just want to let you guys know this weekend I will not be going Pokemon hunting. I have um, a lot of product that should be delivered. Almost everything should be delivered by now. You can go on BJ's Wholesale Warehouse, whatever it's called. You need a membership. Um, 
they have Pokemon stuff that is selling for about $25, $30 online for $14.99. Um, I, I went on the Family Dollar website. They actually advertise Pokemon cards, which is horrible. You should never advertise. Chain big retail stores should not advertise because people are going to check them first anyway. Um, sorry, I had to go through a toll booth. Um, big retail stores... Like Family Dollar. I go to Family Dollar all the time. There's people that do not buy the Sword and Shield Blister Pack. Well, not Blister. Um, I don't even know what the Hanger Packs, I guess they're called. The ones with the holes punched out of them so they can hang on the shelves. Um, they sell them for $4 a pack at Dollar General. I went in there one time and I spent like $40 because I said, I'll take all of those. And I got, he said, oh, how many do you want? Like one or two? And I said, no, I want all of them. I only had six. Like, it's not a lot. <laughs> um, but I could have easily just ordered them, but I didn't want to pay. It was $13 for shipping or $10. $13 for expedite, $10 for standard. I didn't want to pay the $10, which was my fault, because I should have ordered... I was just going to order six for $24. And then I realized I should have just ordered the eight. I didn't think I had money in my bank account at the time, and at the time, my bank account, I was buying so much stuff that it wasn't caught up. Um, if anybody has a bank account, you know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Nice, beautiful day on the river. Nice mountain view. Oops. Yeah, so my bank account wasn't caught up, so it was telling me basically I had like 30 bucks in my bank. So I was like, damn, I didn't know I spent that much money. Like, I just got my taxes like three weeks ago. But I also took money out. Um, I took $1,500 out of my bank account because I'm going to buy a car tomorrow. So I needed that money as a down payment. So I thought I only had like $23 in my bank, whatever, $30. And then... I didn't order the cards because I didn't want to have to go put more money in the bank after I just took all my money out. And the next day, my bank account refreshed and I actually had over $130. At $130. Um, $100 was tied up. They charged me twice, basically, from my order at the BJ's warehouse because um, I spent $98 or $97. Anyway, prices don't matter. So I didn't, I didn't order the packs of cards, which I wish I did because that's my prime. Um, a lot of people need to get your niche, as they call it, and that's my niche, selling packs. I do very well selling just packs. Um, I don't like, I sell cards and stuff, but I don't like having to mail one card out just to make four bucks. Yeah, it's making money, but I don't know. Um, I like selling just packs, so from now on, when I order stuff, I'm going to buy, like, V-boxes, and then I'm just going to take the packs out of them and sell the packs, because that's what I do best. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Good weekend to you. Um, So, today, I woke up nice and early, I cleaned out my car, and I went and got a new car. Done. Literally drove to the dealership and was in and out in like 15, 20 minutes. Like, this guy was awesome. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't even test drive this car. I didn't look at this car. They didn't even have the car on the lot. They didn't have any of this car on the lot, a GMC Terrain. Um, so, basically, I just bought this car blind. Um, I had to trade my car in. I only had five more days to trade my car in. And... Um, I said, you know what? I really like the way these look. I need a bigger vehicle. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, I just had a feeling about it, and my feeling was very right because um, I went to the dealership. My family member co-signed with me so I could get this car. Uh, my dad and my mom came with me and Jesse, so we actually all went for a ride. Basically, um, I don't know why. But we all didn't need to. I only needed me and one other person. But we all just took a ride. It was nice. So we took a nice last family ride in my red Chevy Malibu. Which I'm going to miss. It was a very nice car. I love that car. Um, but I love this car.
This car is very nice. Um, it's a little different. It doesn't have a shifter. It's got like this push button thing. Um, it doesn't have the dial. Like I know new cars have a dial. This doesn't have a dial. It's literally built into the dash and you just like, like a window button on the power windows. Like you just pull it and it's in drive. It's in reverse. Um, it's got like the, the, I guess you would call it Tiptronic automatic manual combined, whatever, you know what I mean? Like without the clutch. Um, but it's, that's still on the dash too. So that's kind of a, I don't know. I guess that's, I would say that's more for off-roading type thing. Like if you're climbing up something, like driving up a steep hill or something. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice car. Jesse's car seat fits perfect in it. Her seat actually reclines a little bit. So she sits like so comfortable. <laughs> like if I had her seat in her car seat, like she's literally like in a bucket, like tilted back. Like, hey, I like this. But um, yeah, she uh, she loves it. She on the way we just went. I cleaned out my car. I had some clothes in the back of it, just sweatshirts and stuff from you know being out all the time. I always keep an extra sweatshirt in the back of my car or two or a jacket. And uh, I had some clothes that I said, you know what, enough's enough. You go through your closet and you need to get rid of stuff. Like I have a dresser and a closet. The closet has sweatshirts and jackets, and this dresser has pants and shirts and everything else. So. Um, we just went up to the store and she actually said to me, I said, you see, do you like the car? And she said, no, no daddy's. And I said, not mine. She said, no, Jesse's. What is up, everybody? Good morning. So I'm back at the desk. And I got this Crobat V-Box in the mail the other day. And I decided, why not open it? I like keeping sealed products. But... I also like opening stuff. This is Mega Coin. Whoops. And then that's also going to come with this Crobat VMAX code card. This beautiful Sword and Shield promo Crobat V. This Sword and Shield Crobat V. Two shiny Crobats. This is a nice box they put together here. You're also going to get this nice Jumbo Crobat V Max. That's pretty cool. It's got the texture and everything. And then, you're going to get seven packs. Of Shining Fates. Actually, I'm trying to get rid of these sleeves. Two promos there, huh? That's cool. Initially, my goal was to try to get 36 packs of Shining Fates and sell it as a booster box, but yeah, no. it's not happening. Probably gonna use the rest of these sleeves today. So that's done. First pack up, I just want to say, everybody, hopefully you're having a great, amazing, awesome day. We got a Water Energy, a Rotom, Dachex, Floatzel, Shinx, Buzel, Nicket, Trapanit, Snom, Reverse Hollow Eevee, and a Professor's Research. Hmm, that's funny. Professor's Research, huh? Two piles today of rares and all that good stuff over there.
Green Energy, Rotom, Tamiotel, Floatzel, Horsey, Snom, Spinarak, Qfant, Rallet, Rusted Sword, and a Manphy. Pretty sure I have that Rusted Sword already. Ooh, I just got a glimpse of something. Luxio, Yeltao, Gym Trainer, Morpeko, Trudel. Looks like a Lapras. Eevee, a Rowlet. Ooh, Cramorant VMAX. Nice. And a Reverse Rowlet. First VMAX. Oh, sorry, way too close. Get a Charizard out of the Charizard pack? Yeah, doubt it. Fire, Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Horsey, Eevee, Choodle, Morpeko, Morpeko, Yanma, Reverse Hollow Thwacky. Ooh, Glaring Weezing. Nice. I like this old style look on the Weezing where he's wearing the top hat and the mustache. It's got a cool look for you, bud. I know this is the pack right here that's going to have a shiny in it. Where's our shiny? Energy, Yeltel, Luxio. Datrix, Datrix, Horsey, Eevee, Trudel, Morpeko, Yanma, Verse Nam. Ooh, Indeedee. Nice. I don't have that one yet. Most of these cards, it sucks. It sucks when they do subsets like this because they only put 72 cards. And for collectors like me, you're getting 20, 30 of the same exact card. Detrix, Bull Guy, Cramorant, Rowlet, Horsey, Snom, Spinarak, Q-Fan. There it is. Ultra rare. Look at that. That is awesome. That is a cool card. I love the paint splatter on those. And the texture on it. <sighs> buddy. Whoa, buddy. Loving these cards. I think... Hidden Fates and Shining Fates are my two favorite sets. Um, I'm going to be one of those weirdos that says I liked Rebel Clash. I don't know why. I just did. And I like Darkness Ablaze. I know there's nothing special about it, but... Yanma, Grookey, Nicket, Choodle. Yo. How do we just get... You know what? I've seen a lot of these lately. I get two of the exact same cards. And it's always out of the... Crobat VMAX boxes. That's awesome. Two of them. I'm not going to stop there, just so you know. Um, I gotta get some more sleeves. I'll be right back. Alright. So. Got some good luck with that Crobat box. 
Um, pretty sure I have all these, but whatever. We'll just keep the pile going right there. So, I wanted to make it clear that I wasn't done. I got this Dragapult box too. Now, I did say in one of my other videos that you can find this stuff cheaper on eBay. I guess he's getting yelled at. Got a brand new car out there, she's probably beating on it. That Dragapult box. That's a cool coin. These are your Dragapult cards. Cool cards. I like them. Two more out of here. So I think these cards are in order, just so you know. We'll double check, so for people that want to know, you got 98, 99, 97, yep, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Also get this giant Dragapult card. Pretty sick. It's pretty awesome that they do shiny, shiny uh, giant cards. So just so everybody knows, Pokemon Center had the what was it? Uh, Galar packs for the jumbo cards for the Pikachu boxes or um, Pikachu 25th anniversary. Throw that right over there. Uh, 25th anniversary. I did order three packs. It let me order three packs. They were $10. Um, if anybody wants one, uh, I will be happy. Just give me 15 bucks and I'll send you one. Um, 15 bucks will cover shipping. And yeah, I'm not overcharging. I just, I want people to be able to get stuff that other people aren't giving for cheap. We start out with a water energy again and a towel. So when you're wet with the cramorant, you can wipe off with the towel. Pekko, Mopiko, Reverse Hollow Grugit. Wow, we just opened a Crobat VM box, and I think I just pulled this card the other night out of the Pikachu box that you guys were watching. So, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I hate that it's such a big set, and you get so many of the same cards. That's what bothers me the most about sets like these. Rotom, Jetrix, Floatzel, Cagney, Gosper, Nicket, Chapinat, Yammar, Indeedy, Reverse, Cinderus. Pretty sure I got that one the other day too. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> so are we having a repeat right now? For our uh, Pikachu box that we opened? Fourteen packs of Shining Fates being opened today. Rustasaur, Rotom, Detrix, Grookey, Snom, Spinarak, Morpeko, Rowlet. Ooh, Frostmoth, Reverse Hollow. And a Dredna. Now I know for a fact I have Dredna because he's sitting right over here. So we'll put that there. But I don't think I have the Frostmoth. And the stack of cards that are back there that just keep piling up. As you can see throughout this video. If anybody doesn't have a chance to get Shining Fates, please just leave a comment down below and just let me know what cards you want or you need or you don't have, um, and I'll see what I can do. 
If you don't have any of the commons, there's a VMAX back there. Um, if you don't have any of the commons, like these, obviously you see I have uh, two Rowlets. Rillaboom, Reverse Hollow. Ditto VMAX. There he is. Nice. I am your average Joe. My name is Joe and I am your average Joe because honestly, I'm the same guy that goes to work just like you. Or goes Kids go to school, they don't have money to buy this stuff. I get extra money every once in a while on bills that I don't have to pay and I go out and I spend extra money just to get it to be able to open it for you guys. So I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button if you're just watching and you're, uh, you're new to the channel and um... I give away all the code cards here because that's what we do. We give away code cards. And as you see, it's me and Jesse. So, uh, oh my gosh, there's another shiny back there, guys. If you guys want any of these cards, feel free to message me. Um, Joey's Pokey Shop at Yahoo.com. I will be happy to send you some cards. Gossifleur. Fleur. I don't know why. I've always wanted this card. It's a giant birthday cake. How could you not want a giant birthday cake card? That is sick. Good pulls. Good pulls. 14 packs and I'm happy with the pulls that I've received so far. I'm happy with just the VMAXs that you get from the box. Like, you get a V and a VMAX right from the box. So... Fourteen packs. Jeez, Joe, what were you thinking today? I was thinking that I was bored and I didn't know what to do and now I'm probably gonna have to go back out and try to figure out where I can get some more cards from. I'm just gonna go fast through these because it's kind of annoying that they just give you all the same exact cards like bosses ordered. I don't even know how many more sleeves. I only need two more sleeves. You know what? I just realized. We've opened both of these boxes. Oh, we got two secret rares. I've ordered, opened both of these boxes, and I have gotten not one shiny card yet. What is up with that? Maybe this Charizard is just the pack to have? If I don't get a shiny in this Charizard pack, I'm going over and I'm grabbing the last Shining Fates box that I have. There's got to be a shiny. I'm, I'm not satisfied without getting a shiny card. And it's not. It's a Thwacky and a Professor's Research. Huh. Wow, guys. Thank you for staying this far. I appreciate you. Um, I've never opened up 14 packs like this. Um, I think I've opened up uh, Elite Trainer boxes on Christmas or something like that. I forgot how many. Maybe we opened like two or three or four. Well, you heard it, Pikachu. I'm saving all this stuff for my collection, but I'm not happy. I'm not happy that we did not get one shiny card. I'm happy with everything that I've gotten. There's a Pikachu V Max box or V box, but uh, I'm not happy. What is that? Seven, seven, fourteen, eighteen packs of cards. There's that Pikachu card you'll get, which I now have three of. If somebody wants one, please just let me know. I'll be happy to send you one. I say it all the time, just like this little guy right here. I don't... Uh, I don't even know what to say right now. If anybody wants these, just let me know. I can do it either way. I got two of them sitting right here. I do keep my sleeves right next to me. So what do we got? Four. Uh, that's enough for now. We'll grab more if we need them. This is the box that I thought somebody tampered with. It's just, I don't know. I really not happy with the way the packs were looking. Sorry for my arm. 
but we did pull a shiny card out of it, so... Green Leaf Energy, Ball Guy, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Snom, Garosapha, Corvin. Wow. First pack, Wulu and a Dreadnought. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Shiny Wulu. It's like you get better chances at pulling shinies when you're not expecting them. Or when, you, when you're expecting them, I should say. I wasn't expecting to get a shiny because I wasn't talking about the shiny versions. Also, hit that subscribe button because I am thankful that you sat here this long to watch me open 18 packs. Reverse Hollow Chudor. And a Volcanion. Now I get the pleasure of putting all these cards away. Great weekend so far. I don't know why. Maybe I'm celebrating for getting my car. Can't go wrong with that. I know I don't have this reverse hollow rotom. And I know I don't have this cramorant. And it's actually really good that I'm doing this right now because I literally just had a binder sitting in my car that I was going to return. <clears throat> but you can't find them anywhere. And I didn't want to have two of the same color binders. I like having everything different. So that way I know. <clears throat> wow, I did that right too. Yeah, two. Guys, I'm just going to skip because it's just pointless to go through. Frostmoth, Gym Trainer. The Pikachu boxes have been good to me. I have to say. Full Art Gym Trainer card. That's awesome. So, I think we did really good. I'm just putting some cards that I know I might have two of already. So, out of all that, we've gotten a Rowlet, a Thraki, a Grookey, Rillaboom, Velocifer. We got an Eevee, which can go over there. What is this? We got another Thraki, can go over there. A Frost Moth, can go over there. Choodle, Rotom. And we got Indeedee, Eevee, and a Rusted Sword. <clears throat> wow. But I mean, I can't complain. I think the Pikachu box did better. We got a Kramer and VMAX. Ditto. A Creamy, Cramorant, and a Gym Trainer. Thank you guys for watching. I am grateful for everybody that watches my channel, and I appreciate you. So, uh, if anybody would like any of these double cards that I have, if you need a... Karo, Karo, whatever. I forgot his name, so don't get mad at me. Those can go over there, because I know I have those already. Ah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Yeah. Peace.